good morning from our third and final day in Yellowstone. We're on the western part of the park. We're driving up to Mammoth Springs and we just uh, stopped along the way a few places and now we're beside, I'm not sure the name of these falls, but really light, delicate, beautiful falls flowing over some mossy rock. Um, and yeah, we'll be at Mammoth Springs shortly. driving into and through Mammoth, which is the headquarters of the park and really close to the uh, north, northern entrance. And we've, we've discovered where all the people are. We were wondering, because it really wasn't overall that busy of a park, we thought, compared to Glacier, although maybe there's just a lot more parking here and it's bigger. But all the people are here. And this used to be, um, so Yellowstone used to be protected by the army for like 30 years from the late 19th century to the early 20th century and so they used to have a fort here with like barracks and stuff which you can kind of see some leftovers of that and some of the designs of the buildings look kind of army like this is Roosevelt Arch where visitors up until the early 20th century used to enter the park from and then now we are in Gardner, Montana. They're just having their afternoon siesta in Mammoth. Oh, 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 oh. oh hello. hello. You can go across. No worries. I'll wait for you. Go on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Go join your friends. They like to cross the middle of traffic as well. the northeastern part of the park, eventually um, getting to the Lamar Valley and driving through. I don't know if we're technically in it yet, but it looks like we're starting to get there. The landscape is very different. It's expansive, lots of hills. This is one of the prime places to see wildlife like bison and bears and wolves and elk. And even though it's hot, there's a nice breeze. So it feels quite different than the other side of the park where we were by all of the hot springs. So yeah, it feels a little bit more remote and wild out here. So we're just doing this half mile boardwalk, self-guided walk that has nice views and some information along the way, but it's really beautiful out here. So many more twinkly trees. This area of the park actually feels more like Eastern Oregon or Washington. It's dry, windy, and there's delicious smelling sage everywhere. <laughs> Just when I asked the question, the self-guided tour answered, they're trembling aspens. So they're all connected together underground and are clones of each other. 
So aspens don't grow from seeds very often, but they spring up from the roots of their parent tree and they're identical clones. So cool. We've chosen to drive down the Blacktail Plateau Drive, which is six miles unpaved off the Grand Loop Road. But you get these beautiful views up here on top of this plateau. And I think a better chance of seeing wildlife, but we haven't seen any. But the wildflowers are stunning. Good morning, one last time from Yellowstone National Park, this time right outside the south entrance. We are leaving the gorgeous Yellowstone. We've had such a great time these past four days here. Absolutely stunning. All parts of the park, so diverse and varied. So if you come here, give yourself at least three to four full days and try to see all four or five of the corners where the entrances are. Um, so we are headed down south to Grand Teton National Park, so we'll see you in the Tetons.